And we're back. Extra periscope for the day. I um, I just got lunch. Just got my kale salad. Great kale salad. Uh, some artichokes and beets. Good healthy stuff. Make my brain work extra. I'm driving, so I'm not going to look at the comments for a bit. But uh, yeah, I just got... <clears throat> Just got blasted by my friends over at the File 770 website uh, over my uh, my blog yesterday. My blog yesterday. I don't have a ton of time. What time is it? One fifty one. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna stop at Barnes and Noble during this Periscope. I saw Paul Anderson. This is totally off topic. I saw Paul Anderson. Uh, I love Paul Anderson. Um, I saw a short fiction collection, which which I guess he had this shared world about. Uh, you know a like Soviet U.S. aftermath or something, and they were all set in this world. And uh, I didn't pick it up yesterday, and I regret doing that. So I'm gonna head over to Barnes and Noble now. I just went to went and grabbed my kale salad for the day. And uh, so yeah, so these people on this website uh, they link to my blog periodically, about I'd say once every couple weeks. And uh, I yesterday I made a post. Just w- which was like, hey guys, this this was the whole content of my post. You keep attacking me. You attacked me, you know, with the Baycon thing when they when they removed me from speaking from their convention. You attacked me when I started getting a Dragon Award nomination. Scalzi came out of nowhere and started attacking me. Cat Rambo started attacking me on there, and I said, hey guys, it hasn't worked out for you every single time you've done this. Every single time you've done this, I've just gone off and. It sold me more books. So why don't you try like, now that I have a platform, which which basically is your fault that I have a platform, Bacon, John Scalzi, Cat Rambo, uh, all you people, uh, it is your fault that I have a platform. I would not have a platform if it were not for you guys. If you did not just relentlessly attack me over and over and again, I don't know that I'd be here, it, you know? I mean, I'd be here, but I don't know that anybody would be paying attention to my Periscope right now. Um, sorry, my, my phone fell. I'm driving. I can't. I can't do much about this at the moment. Um, but I, as soon as I park, I'll grab it, and, and we'll have some nice video again. Um, so I don't know that my platform would be anywhere near what they uh, created, and it's all their fault. So, but they keep doubling down. Uh, so every single time, they keep doubling down, keep attacking. And so I wrote this post just saying, "Hey guys, why don't you just try being my friend instead? It wouldn't. It's not that hard. I'm nice. I like to have fun. We can hang out." We can disagree on things and jab a little bit. It's all right. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't hold grudges so much, uh, except for except for when it goes a little overboard, like uh, like Cat did to me. Cat Cat uh, went so far that that I got I started getting uh, weird packages at my house uh, with uh, lewd objects in them, and uh, you know because of because of the hate campaign she was waging against me, and uh, I have little kids, so I'm not okay with that. So that that uh that that is why I uh and that is that is why I, I push so hard on that direction in particular. But uh, other than that, I mean, I, I'm not even that. I don't even think I'm that mean to John Scalzi. Um, I mean, I, I really haven't said much except for hey, what's up? And um, they keep at it. They just keep at it. Uh, so file seven seventy posted their thing. This is, a, this is what I drink every day for lunch, too. It's, it's coconut water. Coconut water is... Uh, I should I should have, like, sponsored ads for the Periscopes. Uh, the coconut water is... It's got uh, high magnesium and uh, and zinc uh, electrolytes in there. It uh, I think it's keeping me from getting sick, and, it, and it's good, just good stuff. So I drink that every day. But, uh, yeah, it just said, basically, why why not just try to be my friend for a second instead of, instead of all this? And of course, um, they went on to that site, and Mike Glyer made a a uh, passive-aggressive post about it. What can you do? Um, but I started going on, and, and some other uh, what do we got? Hate screen, yeah. Some other folk started joining into the chorus, uh, like they have recently. Here you go. Cool. Oh, sorry. All right, walking into Barnes and Noble. So they started joining into the chorus like they always do, and um, they apparently, apparently at this point they still think. I mean, after yesterday, 
let, let's let's dial it back to yesterday before this even got post. Well, I mean, I, I just happened to be by one, and uh, I, I was mentioning I saw a Paul Anderson short fiction collection yesterday, and I didn't buy it, and I regret not buying it. So um, I want that, so I'm going to grab it. But uh, yeah, so yesterday. Sorry, guys. I know you're reading over here. Uh, let's go A for Anderson. Did they sell out of my Paul Anderson short fiction collection? No, they did not. Okay, that would have been weird. All right. So this, this is this is the the whole reason for my trip here. But yeah, this is um this is from one of his universes, and he's yeah I've got the indoor indoor voice going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna we're in a library, people. Shh. Shh. See, I even got—I even got told I was too loud. So, uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. So, um, basically, we had a couple people yesterday. Uh, Paul Weimer uh, from BarnesandNoble.com and Tor.com, and uh, what's his name, Sean Duke or something like that. He runs a—he uh, runs a genre fiction podcast which I guess appeals to kind of the crazy crowd. And they started calling me names again. Surprise, surprise. And so I tagged them, and then they flipped out that I tagged them. This is, this is the MO, right? I tagged them after they attack me, and they go, why on, I'm shocked somebody would, would dare, would dare respond. I'm supposed to be able to just attack somebody and complete anonymity with my, with my name attached and, and not have anybody ever respond to it. That, that's, that's what they think every time. So, um, yeah, Paul, Paul, I don't want to rag on too much. I mean, he's obviously got some problems um, with self-esteem and stuff like that. And uh, I saw some of the stuff that he, he wrote. I want to help him personally. Um, I, I, I think the guy needs some help, and I, uh, I'd, I'd be happy to. I, th I think it starts with not talking about yourself like that if you watch this, Paul. So I'd, uh, I'd, I'd like to help you work on that. But that all happened yesterday. So I wrote, so it, it, it inspired me to write my blog about being friendly and all that, right? And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna plug this because I'm just, I'm so excited to read this. <laughs> all right, um, so yeah, yeah, look what you made us do to you. You were so mean, you were so terrible. Um, so I just respond to what they've been saying like usual. And uh, agreed, Edwin. I just respond, and they get mad at me for responding. And I'm not even that mean when I respond. I'm usually just uh, what, what they get. What they really flip out about is I don't even go back and start hitting them. I just go, "Look, this guy's being mean to me by my book," <laughs> and it drives them crazy that I actually use it and I'm successful at using it for uh, additional promotion. It actually drives them crazier than if I were actually mean to them, um, which which is great. So. File 770, of course, you know, they just want to capitalize on, on a few people attacking me, I guess. So they, they did it. And I had some more folk come over today and do the same thing. Uh, the guy from Amazing Stories, uh, I think his name's Steve Davidson. I, I could be wrong about that. Sorry if I got the name wrong. Um, he, um, he went on, just called me a bunch of stuff on the, on the File 770 sought and called me names. And uh, so I tagged him. And I said, hey, Steve, why are you doing this? And then he flipped out saying, you know, it was inappropriate for me to tag him, blah, 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 blah. The same, same story. It's like, how, how, just don't attack somebody if you don't want them to respond to you. It's not that hard. <laughs> you know, I mean, you really think it wouldn't be that hard to just do that. Um, but he did. Um, and so he, he lost it uh, over on my Facebook feed if you're on there. Uh, and and just called me a bunch more names and then and then they, he of course he announced he was blocking me because you know <laughs> So again, I mean they, they just come out of the woodwork and they just do it I don't know any of these people I've never talked to this Steve guy in my life and yet he's just talking trash about me on this website It's just like I'd never talked to Kat Rambo in my life. She was talking trash on me on this website It's like do these guys do anything other than just sit there and talk trash. It's 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 nutty inappropriate and problematic right it's inappropriate that you would respond to the fact that I'm calling you a bunch of names yeah <laughs> yeah in high school in high school if you're if you're the one dude who gets picked on now here's the, here's the psychology I've talked about this before these people were picked on in, in high school when they were picked on in high school 
they were called all these names, they were called all this stuff, they were given their swirlies, they were given their wedgies and stuff, right? And when they could not respond, they couldn't physically do it. If they did, they'd just get in worse trouble. So they're trained that when the group herd does this to somebody, right? that you are supposed to just be quiet, you're supposed to hide in a corner, you're supposed to be depressed about it, you're supposed to just kind of get into a fetal position and cry, and that's what they want, right? They want they want that also. Um, and it's because that's how they were trained and brought up <clears throat> in life. But when somebody doesn't do that because, because they're not used to it, uh, it really panics them. It really panics them to see somebody just say, just even just call them out. Even just call them out, it freaks them out, right? Um, I don't know. I don't know, Will. <laughs> That's going to be on you. So, uh, so it freaks them out and they do that. And, uh, so I had that, I had Steve Davidson of amazing stories. And then I got really upset because I saw this and I saw that amazing stories has like 1200 Twitter followers and I'm close to 2000. So I, I get the feeling that he actually did this as a like promo piece for his magazine to try to get, he, he baited me basically into responding uh, so that he could get some free marketing out of it. And uh, I hate that. <laughs> so I hate that I did it, but uh, yeah, I did it. It's all right. And no, the new Star Wars movie isn't that good. Um, so he did, he had to stay around to make sure I noticed it. He took, some, he took his time uh, just to make sure uh, that I saw him block me. Yeah, I did a Periscope on the Star Wars movie uh, yesterday, I think. Uh, and it's up on my YouTube channel too. So if you uh, just look up John Delarose Star Wars on YouTube, you'll find it. Um, the other thing, I'm gonna get in line now. So another, another author did the same thing. And this author's been going at me for a while. He wrote a blog about me um, back in September. Um, and so he went after me too, called, called me a bunch of stuff on my, uh, on my blog comments and I've called him out. Now he actually did the opposite. Now this guy, I actually respect this a lot more than, than what, what, uh, Steve Davidson did. This guy, uh, actually added me on Facebook after I called him out on it. So we'll see if this guy chats, if he actually like has a, uh, an interest in truth and talking and discussing things. That's, that's actually pretty interesting. I've never, I've never actually seen somebody do this who's been attacking me. So it's, it's kind of interesting. Uh, I kind of appreciate that. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm really stoked on this book. Is anybody, is anybody, yeah, I know. Good luck with that. I, I kind of know how it goes. I don't expect anybody to be reasonable or anybody to actually just act like a human being at this point, I guess. But, uh, you know, I always, I always hold out hope until somebody proves it wrong. And I don't, uh, I don't think I, I don't think I, uh, oh, I got some Eric Flint going on over there. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't think I actually, uh, you know, put any stock in it or put any energy into it, but it is what it is. Oh, did they really? <laughs> so we're, uh, we're in line. I, I guess I should have known better than to go to any sort of retail store like the week before Christmas. This is an absurd line going on right now. Hey, Coyote, how you doing? Um, but wow, it's a long line. Wow. So, what's going on with you guys? Anything fun while I'm waiting in line here? Should I, re should I read Paul Anderson to you guys? I, I want you guys to read Paul Anderson. He is the, he's one of the greatest writers, like, ever. And actually, I have, I've read the first story in this. It's uh, Marius, which actually was in the, uh, it was in the There Will Be War, uh, Volume 1 by Jerry Pornell. And uh, excellent story. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to actually read the rest of the, the shorts in this. Uh, the Brooks shorts, beautiful. Um, <clears throat> read the rest in this. But, um, oh yeah, I can't believe you haven't read The High Crusade yet. What's wrong with you? You gotta get on that. <clears throat> you were reading, oh wow. Cool, we're starting like a Paul Anderson resurgence here on Twitter, very slowly. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> we do, yeah. But uh, that, I guess that's why we're, we're living authors and not not uh, not uh, deceased ones. But yeah, I don't know. That's it. Um, I'm I'm kind of checking in to see uh, the fallout from this and how it goes. I imagine it'll be the same. That I'll just gain a larger following and uh, gain some extra sales, and uh, it will not actually benefit the people who have been publicizing me. <laughs> So I just want them to stop for real. Um, so at this point, I'm just I'm just calling everybody out by name. I'm just saying, why don't you stop? It's not worth it. 
And uh, yeah, Three Hearts and Three Lions is a great book too. It's, uh, I think The High Crusade was better, and I think Fire Time actually was probably his best book. So, but I'd, I'd rank that maybe third, so. That's the thing is they, they mostly all just block after they after they after they get called out on it and then then they go complain that that they uh, they were called out on it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's everything. Unfortunately, this line is still taking forever, and uh, I think I'm actually going to I think I'm actually going to start reading Paul Anderson because because uh, I can't. So uh, that's it for now. I'll see you guys tomorrow.